Well, it was one year ago this week, the baseball team at Roger Bacon High School appeared in the state tournament for the first time in over 50 years, a huge accomplishment. Fast forward though, one year to now, and that program like many others is dealing with the unfortunate reality of this year's canceled season. Sports reporter Mike Dyer explains how. The Roger Bacon baseball team had so much promise this spring. There was no doubt in my mind that we were gonna be back on that state field. A year after being a Division III state semifinalist, the Spartans had 17 of their 21 players set to return. That group also included 10 seniors. Obviously our goal was go back to state, but this time finish the job, not end it early. When the season was canceled in April due to the coronavirus outbreak, it deeply impacted the Spartans. Their opportunity for a return trip to the state tournament in Akron was gone. I heard, you know, I heard different stories from, from some parents texting me saying, you know, uh, so-and-so is really taking this hard. You know, I've, I've walked in their room, found them crying. The seniors reflected on what could have been a very special journey, but they refused to let the canceled season define them. I told these guys when the stag happens in a few years, when they're allowed to come back to the Roger Bacon stag, they'll be able to have beers with their buddies and tell, tell them that this was the best Roger Bacon baseball team that ever was, that ever was established. Nobody can argue it. There's no, there's no record to argue it. The Roger Bacon players understand they will always be linked through what they accomplished in 2019. It's, it's been awesome. It's been a great experience. I would not give it up for a thing. Mike Dyer, WCPO 9 Sports. All right, thank you, Mike. Now, those seniors at Roger Bacon, by the way, graduated last week. And of course, congratulations to them on that. If you want more on Roger Bacon baseball, including how the guys have stayed close during the last few months, head over to our website, wcpo.com. There's a nice story up there right now.